are walking down to our farm store here on the farm where we ship out all our orders, all the meat boxes, soured goods, all the things. We're gonna give you a more detailed look of what shipping day looks like here at the farm. So let's go. So this is the farm store. This is the workhorse on the farm. This little building was here on the ranch when we bought it and we put some windows in it. We took out the garage door. There's a garage door, put a little man door and added a freezer to the back of it. And we ship all our boxes out of this thing. It is a busy little store and we're so grateful for it. So here we go, let's take a tour. Hi guys. So here at Ballerina Farm, we now have about 20 plus employees. Some are full time. Daniel says we have about a, a small army of part-time high school students that come after school as well to help prep and wrap and um, brand boxes and do all those things. So the shop girls, they take care of packing the boxes. Daniel is out on the ranch. He has a couple uh, ranch hands that help him out there. You can see the livestock out there, out in the pasture. We raise them, send them to the butcher, and then the meat comes back and we put it here in our freezers. And then from there, the girls pack it in these insulated boxes. They have a, a liner here with dry ice. And the boxes last frozen for 48 hours. So we ship all these boxes anywhere in the USA between 24 overnight and two day shipping right to your doorstep. Do you like the cookie? Over here are a few of what we call soft good items that are non-perishable items. We've been accumulating products. I'll find things that I like to use in the kitchen and then we try to sell them, source them, sell them here at the store. We have these 100% handmade copper measuring spoons. These are a crowd favorite. We have a local soap maker here and she's been making us um, Soap, we have a dish soap that's made from our lard, and then we have a body soap that has sourdough crumbs. I make bread, take them to her, she makes the crumbs and then puts them in the soap. This is amazing. Raw honey from here on the farm. We've got aprons. We sell our sourdough starter, baskets. We have cast iron pans that say Valley to Farm at the end on the bottom. Bread knife. This is for sourdough bread. It's like the ultimate bread knife slicer. So yeah, we have a few things. Also these wooden utensil sets that we are throwing in meat boxes as they go out as well. So those are fun items. So this sourdough starter is dehydrated. So what I do, it's a bubbly sourdough starter. We spread it, we dehydrate it, blend it up so it's in this powder. All you have to do is add water and feed it for four to five days and then you've got your own active bubbly sourdough starter. We ship this out with the instructions. So you have a little four day instruction sheet to get your sourdough up and going. So you can make your own bread, put in all the things, pancakes, bake with it, we love it. Okay, so this is the freezer. We keep the freezer at negative 10 degrees and then we put it right in the box with the dry ice to give it the longest period to stay frozen in the boxes. So here's the freezer, nice and cold in here. I'll show you a few things. This is our ground beef, famous ballerina form ground beef. What's hot on the market right now are our handmade croissants. So these are going out in boxes. We have Chef Ben who hand makes each of these. These are so good. Yeah, the girls come in here, they get the cuts, pack them in the boxes, and then right to your doorstep. And we also have been thinking, we wanna show you the step-by-step -step process of how Ben makes the croissant. So that's another video coming soon. The cool thing we have here at Ballerina Farm is what we call our Encore program. So Encore is a subscription box that you get either every month, every other month, or every third month. So you can pick out what you want. This is a premium box where you get our dry aged steaks, croissants, we'll grab a few more things, bacon, sausage, bratwurst, and then we'll put a little dry ice in there, tape it up, and off it goes. So what we do is 
For the Encore members that are the subscribers, we let them have preferences. So if they want certain cuts, it usually takes them a couple months to know exactly what cuts they love. So we have those, um, we pack those for them a little bit more custom. And then what we have left, which are really fun, is our weekly specials that we do a different box every week. We're throwing in croissants and cookies. Sometimes we throw in like free Willa sourdough starters or wooden utensil sets or whatever it may be that we have that week. So keep your eye on the weekly specials. Those are always fun. Here in the red barn is where all the non-perishable boxes go out of. We do some down there if they're going to meat boxes, but most of the soft goods go here. This is also where we prep a lot of the items. So we brand the boxes, set them up in here, and then we take them down to the white shop because there's not a lot of room down there. So last week our brander broke. So we hurried and bought stamps. So this week we've been using the Ballerina Farm stamp. <laughs> and it's always something, you know, they're always, it's always evolving the whole branding process. So we'll see. We love the brand, we love using the brand, but it is really finicky because it's an actual cattle brand and it's just not meant to be used every day. So it ends up breaking a lot and so we're trying to figure out if that's a long-term thing or if we go stamps more, I don't know, we'll see. But I think the most important thing about branding is that people know that these products come right from our farm right from pasture to plate, farm to table, whatever you want to call it. And they're supporting a small business and a family behind it. So that's what's most important. So we are getting meat boxes out today. We're getting soft goods out today. And this is where all the packing goes on. One of my favorite little pieces of machinery here on the farm is our, our cardboard shredder. So we have all this cardboard that comes in and then instead of throwing it back in the dumpster, we shred it and we use it as cushion material for our packages that goes out so things arrive to you unbroken. So this soap's really cool because, well it's dish soap, but it's a hard, it's a solid dish soap. Um, and so you just put this on the edge of your sink and a little dish is what we do. Rub your little sponge on there and away you go. So we make this, it's mainly pig lard. There's also uh, some fragrances in there, some coconut oil, things like that. But. My name is Debbie. This is my first day here. Everyone, I tried to wrap them all the same, but everyone's just a little bit different for some reason. But it's fun, so everybody gets something unique. Most of the crew is very local, and so most of them know each other from school, from, uh, from town, from church, uh, whatever. It makes for a pretty tight-knit group, and that makes it easy for us to get to know them as well. As far as the personal touch goes, I think that's the most important thing is just being present. So we spend a significant portion of our day here in the barn with the crew, looking at ways to do things better. And so yeah, being present, I think that's the most important thing. Where'd MJ go? Clayton is the retired postmaster for our local community. And he has been such an awesome asset to the Ballerina Farm team. Not only is he know the ins and outs of shipping and getting packages to customers in a timely manner but he's also just so fun in the shop and with a great sense of humor lightens the mood everyone really enjoys working with Clayton so I come in early about 6 30 I drive down to Salt Lake pick up the shipment of dry ice load it down bring it back up and then I work the rest of the day so I I work here a couple of days a week and I really enjoy it. I enjoy my manager, I enjoy all the employees. I really enjoy the, the owners. They're very, very kind and hospitable. They come in and greet us each day. Keeps me having a focus and being able to do something. And of course, my boss tells me that I'm the golden child and, and all the other employees know that. And I'm, I just tell them, well, it's a good thing you know that because, you know, I've earned it. I've been around for a while, so. I just, see, I told you, I told you, see, see how, if they did, I keep telling them, if they didn't have me around during the day, they wouldn't have any fun. So Janelle is our shop manager. She wears a lot of hats. You know, we have one thing we love about Janelle is that she's an awesome leader. 
She really rallies the troops together, gets them excited. She relates to everybody, you know, whether we have, you know, Orion, who's 84, or the high school students, you know, she's just really relatable, gets everyone a job that they can do, and really brings the team together to, to get out orders and make the work environment the best it can be. This is my awesome boss, Janelle. I've never heard this. She is, she takes care of, I mean, she takes care of all of us. She goes oh. and buys treats. Even, you, even though some of us are on a diet, she don't buy the diet stuff. She just buys all the fattening stuff for everybody else. But that's okay. Because it makes I just them don't. sweet. Need, if you feed right. them sweets, they're sweet. But she's an awesome boss. So our largest shipping day by far is Tuesdays. We try to get the majority of the meat out that day. And then we do the overflow of meat on Wednesday. We used to have, like when I started, we had very, very light days and only heavy on Tuesday, Wednesday. To be honest, nowadays, every day is equally as busy. We prep and wrap probably half of the, we call them soft goods if they're not perishable items. We call them soft goods. And we hand wrap at least 50% of those items. So between wrapping the items and getting them prepared and branding the boxes and building the boxes, um, there's a lot of need for that. So our orders come in throughout the whole week and then we only ship the meat boxes traditionally on Tuesday and Wednesday, sometimes on Mondays. So we have an order pack sheet and then these are our subscription members. So our subscription members can either choose a preset box or they um, email our support the type of cuts they want. So I know that this subscription member would like to have all of these cuts of meat. They want ribeyes and ground beef, bacon, pork chops, breakfast. So my team over there, they're gonna grab an order. They're gonna put all the meat in. Then it's gonna come over to this side and we are going to double check it and make sure it has all the right amount of cuts and make sure I've got each one of these cuts, the ribeyes, um, the porterhouse steaks, the chops, and then I'm gonna find out if it's being shipped two days or one days. And if it's gonna go two days, then I need a bag of 10 pounds of dry ice. So our lovely people over here are um, adding dry ice to these bags. And then we add it here and it's gonna show up. This box happens to be going to Seattle, Washington. So today's Tuesday, it'll get there Thursday on their porch. So that concludes the tour of the Ballerina Farm shipping day and what it takes to get these boxes to your doorstep. A lot of work, so worth it. Thanks for following along.